asking you to spend a whole month. Just come on up for the weekend. Abigail and I are both doing fine. We're actually having a blast right now, shopping our brains out. Look, I just think Abigail needs to get out of the city. The last few months of her life have been worse than most humans can handle. Don't worry about her. You know how strong and resilient she is. I am worried. I don't think I've seen her cry since it happened. She cries sarcasm instead of tears. I'm right here, Mom. But well, she's <laughs> still my hero. <laughs> well, with her incredible determination, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the first blind woman to climb Mount Everest. I couldn't agree more. So you're really not coming. Why do I have a feeling this is about trying to fix things with Wyatt? It isn't. You know me better than that, Aunt Charlotte. How are things with him? Aunt Charlotte? Did anyone see it? Come over here, please. Does anyone know for a Aunt Charlotte? Anyone see what happened? Aunt Charlotte, are you OK? Listen. Did anyone call 911? What happened? What happened? Hi. Bart. Hi. Uh, this is Abigail, my daughter. And my husband, Wyatt. Hi. Bart McGregor. I'm a old childhood friend of Allison's, and I was also Charlotte's accountant. Nice to meet you. Oh, um, Abigail recently lost her eyesight. That's right. I heard about that. I'm so sorry. How did it... I took drugs. It was Steroresp. She got the prescription for her asthma, which was out of control. She had pneumonia at the same time, and when she started having side effects, we didn't know. But that could lead to blindness. Well, it was great to see you again, despite the sad circumstances. It was nice seeing you too, Bart. Uh, when you're ready, give me a call, and we'll set up that meeting we discussed over the phone to go over your aunt's finances. Of course. Thank you. Were you all gonna pretend he wasn't hitting on you right in front of me? Babe, I'm stuck here for at least three days. I will call you the second I know when I'm coming back. I can't, not now. You know I'd much rather be with you. He's trying to reassure her. He's coming. talking to what do you mean you're still seeing her what are you talking about Jennifer you're still seeing her I can't believe it I'm not even gonna get into this Abigail heard you your daughter is full of crap again I want you to leave excuse me you heard me I want you to leave you're kicking me out yes you will no longer lie or cheat on me again. Now pack up your stuff and leave. Be quiet. Mother, please. I know what I'm doing. No. I may be many things, but I am not clueless. I am certainly not clueless. out there. I can smell whatever chapter shave you're wearing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to... Oh, you're that accountant. Bart something. Yes. Like the cartoon character. 
My skin's the same color, but my hair is a little less spiky than his. Oh, I have a great aunt's paperwork here. I thought I'd bring it by so your mother could go over it before our meeting here. Why did you park on the street? Excuse me? I could have parked right here in the driveway. How, how did you how did you know I parked in the street? I can't even tell that your car is just a hundred feet away from here and that you just got out of it. Really? I can hear your car radiator fan still cooling off, which means that your keys are in the ignition just a few moments ago. Wow. You're good. No fooling you, that's for sure. I better get back inside. Have a good night. Good night. It was nice meeting you. Oh, by the way, tree tapping season kicks off this weekend, so uh, if you and your mother ever want to, you know, go to Mike's Sugar Shack and taste excellent maple syrup poured over fresh snow, just give me a call and I'll take you there. Your mother has my number. Never get used to this. It's okay, Mother. It's not okay. I'm happy to do it. Oh, don't even try it. You're gonna do it again. Do what? Don't pretend that nothing's going on. You were with her today. Yes, I was. She's going to make you ill again. That woman will make things worse for you. She's not going to make things worse. She is a great, wonderful woman. You need to stay away from her! I told you. Shh, shh, shh. I told you. I'm fine. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're supposed to be going to Mike's Sugar Shack with her daughter, Abigail. A blind girl. Yes. Please don't part for me. For me. Trust me. Everything's okay. I'm going out for a drink. I'll be back later. I am tired of you drinking too much. I'm tired of your lies and blaming work all the time. You always have an excuse for everything. And you always whine. That's all you do and all you're good at. That is enough. You need to leave. You're drunk, and I don't want to see you again, ever! Mom! Abigail, mind your damn business, would you? Leave! to Allison and talk to her. Yeah. Tell her how you felt when she left. How it messed with your mind for over a decade. I mean, does she even know? But I did already make plans with her. Well, technically it was with her daughter. Yeah, we're all going to Mike's Sugar Shack for the season kickoff. Really? Mm -hmm. Great, look who's here. Allison's husband. 
You ever look at somebody and just hate their guests right away? You know, I had that very feeling when I first met you. Give me your best scotch. Neat. You want to hear something funny about your client here? There you go. He came to see us at the funeral, and he was hitting on my wife right wasn't... before my eyes, flirting with her. When it comes to a man wanting to screw my wife, believe me, I can tell. Can't blame you for trying, though. She's a great lay. What a dumb, annoying skank. Bart, don't. What do you think you're doing? Good night, Bart. Well, what do you think of the new dress? You look amazing, honey. I just wish you could see how beautiful you are. Well, that's something that's never gonna happen again. But I don't care. You do care. You know, honey, you don't have to be so strong all the time. I'm fine. I just don't want you to keep everything inside. I do miss dancing. Okay. What else? You don't think I hear you crying at night? You think it's easy for me to ignore it? But I know if I show up, you're just gonna throw a fit or make fun of me for thinking how you could possibly need my help. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. But I can't have you around when all I wanna do is sleep through the entire week just so that I don't feel sorry for myself or be angry at my friends for thinking that I don't want to go on our monthly shopping trips. It just sucks. All of it. He's a bad man. And Allison is a good person a kind heart. He has no right to call her a skank. No, you're wrong, Mother. He does deserve it. No one deserves it more than he does. long before you started dating her. You don't deserve her. You make me sick. You always have.
Someone left us a ride. Let's check it out. Left us the keys, too. Don't you remember the darkness? How much it hurt you? Her presence. She's toxic. And the darkness you go through makes it bad for everyone. I did not see her mother. It's still very early. Go back to sleep. him to not apologize and beg the morning after. Please tell me you want to accept his apologies. Of course not. I told you it's over. I just think it's weird that he hasn't called. Give him time to sober up. Wyatt does whatever Wyatt wants. That must be the real estate agent. Lance Lancaster, Merrick's Real Estate. Uh, I may be a few minutes early. Yes, come on in. <laughs> Thanks. Would you like some tea or coffee? Uh, yes, please, coffee. Come on. I'll be right back. Thanks. How well did you know my aunt? I kind of feel like I knew her really well. But, uh, you know, small towns, sort of like living in a glass house. <laughs> This is my daughter, Abigail. Hi, I, I didn't realize. You smell good. What is it, Ralph Lauren? Uh, actually, yes. You got a good nose. We're not sure we want to sell the house. Abigail. What? I mean, we shouldn't waste his time. Now that you're practically divorced, we should take time to think this through. I like it here. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I, I totally understand. Selling or buying a house is never a decision you should make lightly. 
I feel like we made you waste your time. No, don't worry about it. it happens all the time. Really? No. <laughs> Just seemed like a nice thing to say. All right, well, let me know if you change your mind. I will. You have a good day now. You too. I'll be waiting for your call. Sounded like a nice guy. An embarrassed nice guy, thanks to you. Sorry. Do you really like it here? I do. People don't seem to yell as much here. You gotta love a little peace and quiet once in a while. You're right. And it's not that far. Maybe I could try to book and bunch up my fittings and shopping sessions. Was he cute? He sounded cute. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he was, wasn't he? Uh, stop it. I've been separated, well, if you can call it that, for about 20 minutes. Well, believe me, that divorce is just a matter of time. When she was young, you would do the same. We followed her to the library, read the same books, ate the same food, watched the same movies. Well, do you like it? Having someone dictate your life to you? Like this? No one is dictating my life. You are wrong. Where are you going? Oh. You could follow her everywhere. Trapes all over the place. Mother, I'd like to get by. All right! Ah, here it is. Oh my god. Is the real estate agent Lance Lancaster? What are the chances? Well, it's a small town. You should go talk to him. You never give up, do you? No, I'm not gonna go talk to him. Okay, we should go. Oh. <laughs> hey, I know you two. Not following me, are you? I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this? I hope you're not leaving town, are you? No, we're just going to Philadelphia to pick up a few things, but we, we have to go, so. Oh, me too. Okay. <laughs> Mom, wasn't there something that you wanted to ask, Lance? I was thinking, um, if you're not... <sighs> Would you like to take us to Mike's Sugar Shack? Uh, of course. Yeah, that place is awesome. I'd, I'd love to take both of you. Great. <laughs> Would you like to take us to Mike's Sugar Shack? Really? Yep. Where do you come up with these ideas? It was actually that accountant and old friend of yours that suggested it. You mean... Bart McGregor? When? After the funeral. Remember he gave me the paperwork for tomorrow morning's meeting? Right. Anyway, he was just trying to be nice, so he offered to take the two of us. Well, that's odd that he would ask you and not me. But we're not going with him. We're going with that cute real estate agent. I can get anybody, because I'm Lance Lancaster. He's not her type at all. No, why it was a problem, mother. So is Lance Lancaster. There's three messages for him. His boss is furious. He's missed several appointments and he's not returning his calls. This is a travel confirmation to Bangkok. Departure March 1st. Wyatt went to Bangkok? And his passport's gone. I'm seeing Allison tomorrow. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that uh, business or pleasure? Uh, I'm, I'm an old fashioned gentleman, Benjamin. I don't rush into anything. Mm. What about that uh, 
That date you mentioned, going up to the Sugar Shack Cest alone. It's not a date. But yes, it's still on. Good. Hey, what do you know about Lance Lancaster? Well, not much. Other than the fact that he's not the most scrupulous guy I've ever met. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I've seen him around, and every time he's with a different woman. And I use the term woman loosely. I've had to ID several of his dates. Why do you ask? No reason. You know, I heard that uh, he's going to be selling Charlotte's house. Is that right? Yeah. I don't think Allison's going to be sticking around too much longer. Hmm. Let's go to his restroom. Sure. Listen very closely. I don't care if you think I'm a monster. I know you're not hiding behind that mirror, Mother. I know you're not really there. I know you're at home, in bed, probably judging me. Because that's what you do best. You want to know what I do best? Manage information and solve challenging problems. Bart, come on in. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? I'll get back to you tomorrow about your estate taxes and your annual property tax payments as well as your monthly mortgage payments. And then you can decide what you want to do from there. Sounds great. Oh. <clears throat> Hi. Oh. oh, you didn't have to do this. They're wonderful, though. Thank you. Well, <laughs> glad you like them. Hi. Hi. So I'm taking these guys to Mike's Sugar Shack. Really? Uh, uh, when? Right about now. Nice. Well, uh, thank you for your time, Bart. We'll see you soon. He is our accountant. Yeah, I know. Glass houses, remember? <laughs> you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. And so do you, Abigail. for Allison. It's not right for Abigail, either. Oh, yeah. nice. All right. OK, honey, it's right here. Just roll it back and forth. for sure. They make much better coffee here. I have to agree. Mike should stick to syrup and Wow, Lance didn't waste any time, did he? As usual. Thank you. Think I got a shot at her? 
The mother. She's too old for you, man. Shut up, the blind girl. Given that she greatly relies on voices and sounds, I say she's more to guys that don't have a speech impediment. Shut up. Sorry. You're Abigail Jones. Do I know you? No, I just, um... Figured it out? Not too many teenagers walking around town with a cane, right? Right. I'm sorry about your aunt. Great aunt. Thanks. Listen, if you're still in town and you're up for it, some of us are hanging at Pete's Pizza Place pretty much every Friday and Saturday night. So that's what you guys do around here on the weekend? Go to the pizza place and drink root beer? That's right. <laughs> Admit it, you're envious. I'm Shane, by the way. Shane Sullivan, also known around town as the bartender's son. Okay, I'll try to remember that. should know better than to leave your social media account open on your desktop. You gotta be kidding me. She just turned 20. Twisted, can you be? Wow, lots of photos on your hard drive. What about Lance and a 20 year old? All uploaded by mistake. And made public, too. What did you think of it? I don't know. What's with the sudden change of heart? I overheard something at the diner. <laughs> really? Something about Lance not wasting time, as usual, to invite a recently single woman over? First of all, I'm not officially single. And second, we kind of forced him to invite us, remember? <sighs> right. Can you believe he's in Thailand right now? What an ass. Abigail. What? It's Lance. Well, it must have been Molly. That, look, the girl was in love with me, OK? She, she kept wanting us to get together. I told her she was too young. It wouldn't work out, but no, I didn't sleep with her. What are you talking about? We just fooled around. Whatever, nothing happened. Look, I don't know, but she tagged as many people as she could, so she must have had my password or something. She's like two years older than you. He's a jerk, and so is Wyatt. But it's got me wondering if he came because of you or because of me. Mom, please, don't spend another second talking about such a creep. You're right. Who is it? My best client. Patricia Taylor? She wants a new classy outfit for her and her husband for an upcoming charity event. She wants to go shopping tomorrow. Hey, you feel like taking a day trip to Philly tomorrow afternoon? Sure. 
I mean, if I can get some new clothes, too. <laughs> Deal. Hello? Hi. Uh, it's Bart McGregor. Oh, Bart, hi. How are you? Great. Listen, um, I worked my magic and made sure you wouldn't be required to pay capital gains tax on the difference between what you would net from a possible sale. Do you, do you think I could... Maybe come over tomorrow afternoon and go over the details with you? Tomorrow's no good. Abigail and I are going into Philadelphia to do the shopping. Oh, okay. How about tonight? Yeah. Okay, sure. Sounds wonderful. I'll see you later. Okay. Given what time it is, she'll probably invite you over to dinner. Now, do not dare mistake this for a date. Do not be so naive. Can't you just be happy for me? It's not a date, Bart. It's far from it. I know. Well, here's how creative your mother is. Do you remember in the third grade, Mrs. Dawson gave us a science test? <laughs> and one of, one of the questions was, please list the three states of matter. Yes. Unfortunately, I do remember. And I'm gonna get some more wine. <laughs> Instead of solids, liquids, and gases, your mother answered, New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. The three states that matter. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, hey. Uh, got you a present. A present? What for? Just a little something to underline an old, rekindled friendship. What is it? Well, open it up. The Beatles. I know how much you love them. The Beatles. Yeah, well, not the actual Beatles, because that would be impossible. <laughs> but uh, it's a tribute band. Apparently, they're amazing. I got us three tickets. Us? Yep, for Abigail, you and me. Next weekend. Well, are you... Are you not happy? Uh, I, I, I know how much you keep talking about them and, and liking them all over social media, so... How would you know that? I, I never... You don't want to go. Don't get me wrong. I love the gesture. But I can't accept this. Um, I, I don't understand. Why not? Well, you probably already know that I'm going through a tough time right now. And I just want to be there for Abigail. I want to focus on this house and my work. Yeah, I thought you would be happy. I am happy, but... Bart, this was a very nice thing to do. But like I said, I can't accept this. I hate to do this, but it's getting late and I'd really like to go to bed early tonight. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Yeah. You, you don't want to go out with me. <laughs> you never have and you never will. Am I right? Or am I wrong? You're right. But don't take this the wrong way, Bart. I'm actually considering not dating for a long, long while. Hey, so you're not the only one. Here. <clears throat> I have to get going anyway. You have a good night. Well, I, I hope you understand. I do. Don't kid yourself, boy. 
smart. You knew this was going to happen. Well, actually, it's a good thing. How is it a good thing? <laughs> Had she fallen for you, you would have made her life a living hell. Which is exactly what you've done to me. Mother, please don't say another word. You're a sick man, Bart. Mother? I know what's going through your mind right now. You need to stay away from her. I said, stop it! I didn't want it to come to this, Mother, but I knew it might. Bart, what are you doing? Did you know that an overdose of potassium chloride almost automatically causes severe heart arrhythmias and mimics a heart attack? Most good medical examiners will detect abnormal injection marks, though. Oh, Bart, uh, you don't know what you're Except doing. Except when it comes to a patient with a spinal cord injury who shows a drastic loss of body potassium. They're going to know that you were behind this. No, they won't. You have injection marks all over your arms. You're the perfect candidate, Mother. In a matter of a few short minutes, your heart will spasm out of control and go into sudden cardiac arrest. Oh, Bart, please. And then, I will call 911 and cry my heart out. And I won't have to fake it. I will be really sad. No, no, Bart. No, no, please, please, no, Bart. Think, no, no, think about what you're doing, Bart. No, 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 please, no! You can't do this! No, Bart, no! I don't want to go! No, Bart, stop, no! You can't do Stop! No, 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 no! Stop! Stop! No, 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 no! smell bad.
Thank you. Let's do this together. Hey, Bart. Ben. What are you doing here? Are you gonna invite me in, or should we just talk in your doorway here? Sorry, uh, I'm not really feeling well right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, I, um, I know things have been rough for you since your mother passed, and I just thought I'd stop by and see if there's anything I could do to help. No, thanks. You sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Bye. Kissing a boy. You're in your 40s, Mom. That would be weird. Oh, wow. No, I meant you, smarty pants. I thought you said you did already kiss a boy. Well, I mean, I did kiss Simon Sawyer that one time. He drove me to his mom's house, but it was awful. We were both so nervous, and he pulled his tongue out, and I wasn't expecting it, and it was just bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>
you again. I can smell your aftershave. What do you want from us? I'm not gonna hurt you. What did you do to my mother? What did you do to my mother? She's asleep. I won't hurt her either. Leave now! Leave! Leave now! Leave! Leave us! Leave! They said they saw him pulling the trailer? Yeah, like he was moving. No, this isn't good. Did he tell anyone he was leaving? Not that I know of. He came into the bar to see me, but he didn't mention anything. Do you think we should call the cops? It's not illegal. I just, I, I got this feeling something was up, though. Here, here. Look, <laughs> I understand how you feel right now, but you, you will get to know me, and you will both love me eventually. Allison, you're the love of my life. <laughs> you're both gonna be so happy here. I, I refused to sell this place years ago because I knew it would be the perfect spot for us. The, the river, the sheep, which I just bought, just for you, the chickens, <laughs> the quiet country life. I'm gonna lose the handcuffs now. Please don't, don't do anything stupid, okay? It would be pointless anyway. all for you. All your favorite brands of food, your favorite authors, favorite movies, favorite everything. I, I, even, I even got your favorite brands of clothing. <laughs> How? People don't pay attention. I do. Because I care. So what are you saying? We're here on a hunch? Bert always had a crush on Allison, and some people would say it was more of an obsession. There's even people that think Bart threw his own mother down the stairs when she refused to let him invite Allison over one day. She swore it was an accident. I, for one, tended to believe her, but now I don't know anymore. Wow. Car's still in there. And they're probably home.
Do you think it's possible they just willingly left with Bart for more than a day on a road trip of some kind? Yeah, I guess anything's possible. <sighs> Not liking this. Abigail, I know you're blind, but please don't. Don't drop food like that on your lap. I'm, uh, I'm very keen on keeping everything clean. We're gonna have to help each other out. Are you freaking kidding me? Language, Abigail. We're gonna have to set some rules, hmm? Some very important rules. Really? Well, how's this for a rule? <laughs> Abigail. No. Get up, get up. Follow me. Step, step down, step down. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. <gasps> careful, baby. Okay. Turn right, turn right, turn right. Turn right. Sorry. Honey, I'm dialing 911, okay? Here. Oh, come on. What is it? There's no battery. What? I left the keys and the phone there on purpose, Alice, and I wanted you to see me put them away so that you would understand there's nowhere to go. Please, just come on back in the house. some mud in the bathroom. I appreciate that you changed into some clean clothes. But please go clean up your mess. This place is perfect. Kept it for years, and I, I never told anyone about it, knowing no one would ever find us here. It's not even on the map. I thought for sure bringing you here would right away ease my obsession. And now that you are here, I, I want more. I'm not going to hurt you. But I am consumed with making you love me.
Bart. You still have some food on your shirt. Except for little three stooges. You want to know what angers me the most? Not what people say about me. It's what they whisper. What's with the cooler urn and picnic stuff on the kitchen table? Going on a little road trip tomorrow morning. All four of us. Something I've been dying to show you. I really think you're going to love it. All four of us? It's a joke. I may bring Mother along and scatter her ashes out there. Do you think I could go outside and get some air? I need to stretch my legs. Take a walk. You can come too, of course. Okay, sure. Stop. What are you doing? What do you mean? Let's head back inside. Well, can't we just go? No. Hurry up. One night, Bart's in here and starts telling me this story. His mother, Cecilia, she's got this friend who owned a ranch in Derby. Turns out that Bart ends up buying this ranch for a bargain. Then he's back in here a few days later. I'm asking him about it. Says he didn't know what I was talking about. I always found that kind of odd. Okay, interesting lead. What do you want to do? Well, I have a friend at County Records. I'm gonna call him up in the morning. See what I can find out about this ranch. We should sleep. We have a big day tomorrow. Please take a hot shower and brush your teeth. Wasting your time. They're not the same caliber. 
It was a test. And you failed. Again. Put a lot of thought into all of this. The car battery, the cell phone, the landline. How stupid do you think I am? Here it is. A feast for your eyes and a, and a feast for your ears. Listen to that. Isn't that powerful? It's one of nature's best concerts. Come on. Come on. Ben Sullivan. Yes. Tomorrow morning? Okay, great. Can you have him phone me as soon as he gets in? It's very important. Today was nice. The rapids? I loved it. I knew you would. I was thinking we could go again tomorrow. Seriously? <laughs> You're kidding me? Of course we can go back. All three of us. Actually, I wouldn't mind going, just you and me. Really? Abigail, are you okay with that? Sure. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. What's the emergency? I was right in the middle of biology class. You're coming with me. You got an address for the ranch in Derby. I sure did. Come on. Come on. You're not handcuffing my daughter to the fireplace. It's okay, Mom. We'll just be gone for a few hours. She'll be fine. I don't think you realize I would kill for you. As a matter of fact, I have killed for you. What do you mean? Wyatt. He was a bad man. Wyatt's in Thailand. Oh, you want to know something else? I killed Mother, too. Because she said mean things about you. She never liked you. I know why you wanted to come here. You wanted to escape. It's okay. In some ways, I wanted to leave too. I don't know what your plan is, but yes, we're better off if it's just the two of us.
Last 10 years of my life, I've spent over 30 hours a week studying your social media pages, looking you up, analyzing every aspect of your life. And sometimes I can get extremely jealous. We're almost there. I think we should just leave right now. We could drive down to Mexico and make it across the border by the end of the week. You want me to abandon my daughter? Would you rather have her come with us? Or let her live her own life without being... Oh, how can I put this? Under my constant supervision. Gil Jones. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think it's a good idea. I feel her resentment. I don't think she'll ever accept me. <laughs> she'll certainly never like me. How far away from here are these rapids? Uh, about an hour, I guess. 50 miles radius, there's actually a few. And there, there was a plane. It was flying pretty low. Can I touch you? Just, just your hand. Okay, closest local airport would be Smith Stewart Field, and there's rapids nearby just minutes away. Stony Creek, 40 miles away from here. You know what my mother once said? Sometimes, if it's too good to be true, it's just too good to be true. I don't think I understand what you're getting at. I don't trust you. It's all too easy. You agreeing to come to Mexico with me? Abandoning Abigail? I won't lie. This is not what I truly want, but it is better than the alternative. What do you truly want? I want you to turn yourself in, Bart. <laughs> And I want this nightmare to be over. You consider all of this a nightmare? Of course. No, we think they're near um, Smith Stewart Field Airport. They kidnapped? The Stony Creek Rapids? Stony Creek. Yes. And the daughter? Yes, her daughter's with us right now. Can I speak to her? Hold on. Hello? Kiss me. I want to make this work. And I'll do whatever it takes. 
Now kiss me. Come on. That's it there, that's Bart's SUV, right there. Listen, you stay here with Abigail till the police arrive, all right? No, Shane can stay and wait for the cops. I'm coming with you. Don't worry about me, I won't slow you down. If you think I'm gonna leave you here, you're out of your mind. I could do this all day. Sooner or later, you gotta come out. <sighs> it didn't have to be like this, Allison. Stop this. Bart, look at me. Bart, I know you. I know you're not going to do anything wrong. I know that. And neither am I. OK? So we're both going to put our guns down. All right? I'm going to put mine down first. I'm putting my gun down. You know what? That's not how this ends. I would rather kill you than not get to spend my life with you. No, 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 Bart, Bart, stop, please. Please, stop. This has nothing to do with you. Leave now or I'll shoot you. I'm not going anywhere, Bart. Allison. Allison. Come on. Come. I'm never going anywhere with you. Never! Thank you so much for finding us. I had nothing. 
So old Abigail, she couldn't have painted me a better picture where you are. Honey, you're amazing. I love you so much. Honey. Did you really tell the guys you were coming with me to Pete's Pizza Place tonight? Pizza and root beer on a Friday night? How could I possibly miss out on such a nice evening? Great. So, um, does that mean I'm, like, almost your boyfriend? Not really. It just means that you were right. About what? I do prefer guys that don't have a speech impediment. I mean, you heard that when I was talking to Bobby? <sighs> so, um, do you want to go grab a bite? Sure. So, you really did hear us talk at the diner? Uh, yeah. Wait, did you hear me saying you were cute? Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> I really, I really did mean it though.